Is something going on? Sounds like it. Pisara wants us all to meet at the castle entrance. Taking in the view again? Yeah. Looking at the scenery helps take my mind off things. Like what? Being a maiden. Whether I really am a descendant of Naori. Those kinds of things. So, are you mad at me? For what? I destroyed the Renaissance. Right as you were about to get rid of your thorns forever. Why did you destroy it? When I saw it appear in front of me, it reminded me of what happened back on Lenigus. And the rest was... <laughs> it was all just a blur. I'm sorry. It must have been a pretty terrible memory. Besides, we don't know that the Renes Alma actually was destroyed. For all we know, it might have disappeared with that Red Woman. If so, then why don't. are you... Don't! <laughs> it's okay. You brought me back. You got me away from Volron. That's enough for now. <sighs> Let's get going. We shouldn't keep everyone waiting. Sora said she wanted everyone to meet at the castle entrance. Hey, Shion. I... Don't. I... Okay. I... I'm sorry. But if you come any closer, you'll only end up getting hurt. Because of your thorns, you mean? Trust me, I've endured... No, that's not it. You don't understand, I... Never mind. Sorry, just forget I said anything, okay? If it isn't your thorns, does that mean there's something else? It's just... <sighs> it's nothing, really, okay? So you can stop asking me. I... <sighs> okay. In that case, I... I'll see you up ahead, okay?
Oh, it's you two. I suppose that makes me the last one, then. We better get a move on, or else we'll never hear the end of it from Kisara. Right you are. A month has passed since we vanquished Volron. I would have thought that the Renans on Lenigus would have made their move by now. Yet they still remain as silent as ever. We have no idea what happened to Volron's body, nor its whereabouts. The Red Woman also has yet to reappear, for that matter. And contrary to what I had heard, when the Renis Alma formed, not five, but six elements were present, with darkness constituting the sixth and final Master Core. Were either of you aware of this? You mean about the Renis Alma? Of course not. Same. I had no idea a Darkness Master Core even existed. What about Xion's Maiden powers? No. That was the first I learned about that, too. Or anything about having that power. Me too. I remember thinking the same thing. What could it all mean, I wonder? There are so many questions with too few answers. Particularly when it comes to that Red Woman and her abilities. Or at any other ability that used astral energy, I'd say it was an astral art. But hers was... different. Speaking of astral energy, we also mustn't forget that while the other Master Cores disappeared when forming the Renis Alma, for some reason the Fire Master Core remained. It may well have been the work of your maidenly powers. Alfin, are you still able to wield the Blazing Sword as before? For now, at least. That Renis Alma sucked most of the energy out of the Fire Master Core, but it still has enough for me to use the sword. And the sword is safe inside of me for the time being. Good. At least that's one thing we needn't concern ourselves over. You can say that again. We have more than enough to deal with as it is. Let's go. Hey, wait up! I heard we are all to meet at the castle entrance. This is Ganya, who has a problem he needs help with. I was just about to ask him what that problem is. All right, then. Well, tell us what's on your mind, Ganya. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Where are your rations? Did you not get yours? I did. Are they not enough? No, I have enough. Then what's the problem? Uh... Alfin, you have to remember. These people aren't used to responding so quickly. Be slow and gentle with him. Oh, right. Forgot. Sorry about that. So you have your rations, and it's enough food. But there's still something wrong with them. What is it exactly? I'm hungry. Yeah, I got that part. Do your rations taste bad? I don't know. What's that supposed to mean? I haven't eaten them, so I don't know how they taste. Wait. If you're not eating them, then what are you doing with them? Bringing them into the castle. What? Why? Wait. Back up. Are others doing this? Who told you to bring your rations in? Everyone in my group is doing it. I don't know who told us to do it. They only said to bring the rations into the castle. I'm guessing none of us told them to do it or else we'd know, right? I was afraid that something like this might happen. The people in this capital are slowly regaining their own wills. But not everybody is getting them back at the same rate. Are you saying someone who got their will back sooner might be taking rations from other people? If so, that's a serious problem. Definitely. This is something we can't ignore. We need to investigate the castle. It seems like the people here still tend to blindly follow any orders they're given. It's a reflex that was quite literally beaten into them. Undoing it will take some time. I know it's not their fault they're like that, but it's still irritating to deal with. Hey, remind me, just what exactly are we all doing here? What do you mean? We're helping people, aren't we? Could've fooled me. 
Lately, it feels like everything we're doing ends up half-baked. <laughs> we liberated the people of Pelegion, but their hearts and minds are no less under the yoke than the day we found them. As for Volron's cronies, we have no idea where they scampered off to. You think I don't already know all that? We're doing everything we can, aren't we? We didn't choose to get stuck here. Sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Besides, you've seen all the same things I have. You know as well as I do that deposing the Lords alone won't solve all the world's problems. Rinwell's right. We've gotten this far, haven't we? We can't just leave things unfinished now. I guess? I mean, I didn't think we'd be singing around the campfire as soon as the wall came down, but still. The fight isn't over just yet. At least not while Lenigus remains a threat. I'm just sick of all this waiting. If they're gonna invade, why don't they get a move on already? Stop that! Don't you think we've got enough problems as it is without you tempting fate? <laughs> Spot something? Hmm? Oh, no. Just wondering if I could see any armored guards. Armored guards? You mean Voron's soldiers? The moment we defeated their lord, all those guys bolted out of there. And not just out of the castle either. The city, too. For better or worse, it was the guards who looked after the city's Danons. Without them, making Pelegian half-habitable again has been one big headache. It's not like they were on their last legs. They could have chosen to stay and fight, but instead they ran away and disappeared without a trace. But without a lord to follow, they can't have any place to go. Unless... You don't think they went to Lenigus, do you? It's not completely out of the question. Though I'd say it's more likely they're biding their time somewhere, just waiting for the perfect moment to strike back at us. The people here in Pelegion are nowhere near ready to defend themselves. Ah, <sighs> great. Another headache to worry about. Is it just me, or was today's dinner a little low on salt? I felt that it was seasoned perfectly, so as to bring out the flavor of the ingredients. Last taste buds are still like a kid, so if his food isn't rich enough, I bet he doesn't feel like he's eaten anything at all. Don't make fun of me! We all need salt in order to survive! He has a point. You do lose stamina if you don't get enough salt in your body. Yeah, I remember seeing people trying to lick the rocks back in Calaglia. What? Why would anybody do that? Sometimes you can find rocks out there that taste salty. They used to say it was because of all the tears we slaves shed. Most likely, that was actually rock salt that they found. When our provisions ran low, Megal would often bring some back for us to use. At the time, we used it because it's all we had. But now there's something hearty about rock salt I like. Even more than table salt. Is it possible, perhaps, to find any rock salt in these parts? It is. You have to know what you're looking for, but when I find any, I always break some up to refill our supply. The flavor even changes depending on what kind of terrain it comes from. Sometimes I end up collecting more than we need, just in case we like it. Wow, Kisara is really serious about her salt. You can always count on Kisara to be earnest. That's why we have to do our part and not add any more to her burden. Take forever, Law, I promise. Let's just do what we came here to do and get out.
Very well. Well. Hey. Pardon me. It doesn't seem that way. You must think we're just damaged from the town. Whatever's going on, these are full run soldiers. Watch yourselves. Oh. You don't say. So then... I can't believe how quickly you got all those soldiers to obey you, Dohuin. Actually, they were abiding Ren in hierarchy, not me personally. Well, either way, it solved the problem and that's what counts. Looks like we made it here in one piece. I've talked to the soldiers and made it clear that they are to remain in line. Things should stay calm for the time being. I know Renans tend to take authority extremely seriously, but you sure know how to throw your weight around as a former lord. I only managed to get through to them because Volron's curse is lifting, but not to the extent that they can act independently as of yet. Considering we had other matters to attend to for the past month, we should consider ourselves lucky that nothing occurred during our absence. But if they do start operating independently again, that's going to cause a whole new set of problems to deal with. Indeed. Ganeth Heros is unlike Menencia. Without intervention, they'll likely revert to oppressing the Danans as they were doing before. Meaning there's still a lot of work to be done in this realm. Not that there aren't problems among the Danans, too. Yes. There was no way to avoid the deep-seated conflicts that had festered here. But... I just hate that we had to use your position as a lord to solve the situation, Dohalim. 
Had I not intervened, yet more blood would have spilled here, and nobody wishes for that. <sighs> so, what's going to happen to the Renans here now? Why do you ask? We've stripped the soldiers of their armor and locked them up. They can't hurt you guys anymore. I promise. So they're alive? They're... they're not going to die? What? Those people deceived us. They did terrible, terrible things to us. They made us suffer. Long before you guys came along. For years and years and years. It was constant. Never stopped. Not even for a day. So many people died. Our parents, our children, our friends. They all died. They were murdered. And it was the Renans. The Renans were the ones who did it. They killed us. Why do they get to live after so many of us have died? The bastards should die. Every last one of them. I... I know how you feel, Ganya. I used to be a slave, and I hated the Renans just like you. I took up the blazing sword to bring them down. But along the way, I've met many people and seen many things. People refusing the hand life dealt them. People who have lost loved ones, but are still trying to make this world a better place. People driven by hate who stopped before it was too late. And those who couldn't and paid with their lives. And I fought plenty of people who were all too happy to make others suffer. Believe me. But after a while, I came to realize that it's not the Renans who are our true enemies. Then what the hell are we fighting if it's not them? We're fighting against anyone who tries to take what doesn't belong to them. But that's what these Renans are doing. How is that any different? Because I judge everyone by their own actions. That goes for Danans, too. Because at the end of the day, at the root of all evils committed is an individual who committed them. You're right, Alfin. It seems like people are either blaming an entire race for one individual's sins, or an individual for everyone else's mistakes. But all that does is add more hate in a world that's already full of it. I want to help create a society where people can finally stop suffering and move beyond their pain. But if we try to do that with more violence, then we'll just end up right back where we started in the first place. All right. Have it your way. I can't argue with the folks that helped us get back our ability to think and speak freely again. Is that to say you trust us then? I don't trust the Renans as far as I can throw them. I trust you guys because of who you are and what you've done. Fair enough. We won't let you down, Ganya. <clears throat> What's the matter, Kisara? Is something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing. It's fine, really. I'm just a bit worried about what'll happen to all these folks. Right. It'll take time before they start thinking for themselves again. Indeed. That is part of it. However, what I'm even more worried about is what will happen to them after that. What do you think they're going to want once they realize how cruel Volron was to them? Probably revenge. <laughs> what happened to Ganeth Haros is the worst form of oppression we've seen. But treated cruelly or kindly, slaves will rise up. Lenigus aside, there are still remnants of Renan supremacists scattered throughout Dana. You mean all that trouble we went through to get rid of the Lords might just lead to more violence? That's the last thing I want to see happen. Of course not. And if we don't do something to prevent it all from starting up again, there could be even more bloodshed for us to regret. There's still a lot we don't know about the Renan rulers. Whatever the face of truth behind their veil, it's on us to put a stop to them. But there is one thing that's clear. Whatever we do to finally end it, our motives can't be getting back at the Renans. Or it'll all be for nothing. 
So what exactly is it that you're saying? That we should just act as if nothing happened? Law's right. We can't expect everyone to just forget all the pain they've endured up until now. Not so easily, at least. But we have to at least try to change course. We can't just keep allowing history to repeat itself like this. Exactly. Look, I won't deny that between the Crown Contest and 300 years of oppression, there's a lot of bad blood between the Danans and the Renans. But all these problems are just too big for us to try to carry the burden on our own. We'll keep doing our part in the interim, but we need to take this one battle at a time. done just yet. I want you all to stick around a little longer. There might still be people who need our help. When you think about it, thinking for yourself can be a heavy responsibility at times. Yeah, it's not like your mind will only ever think about good, happy things for one. Maybe so, but I'll still take that burden over living life as a puppet serving others. That's why I want to do everything I can to help these people. Where are you going? Since when do I need your permission to move around? I wasn't saying that you do. So I'm not sure why you're biting my head off about it either. Oh, that's so typical of you. How can you be so relaxed about all this? At this very moment, the enemy is doing who knows what behind the scenes. And yet we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs in Ganeth Harrow's. I know that. But our hands are tied right now. What do you want me to do? And what's gotten into you anyway? Is there something you want to say to me, Shion? Look, you're right. Forget I said anything. If I said something to hurt you, I'm sorry. But I honestly don't know what I said to upset you so much. I really wish you would tell me. You don't need to apologize. You didn't say anything. It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. Not really. Then why? Please just drop it. I don't want to talk about it. All right. If that's what you want, I won't push any further. I'm sorry. 
It's fine. Just don't be too hard on yourself, okay? to rest as work. Because that's the way people were made to think about every aspect of their lives. I know she doesn't mean anything bad by it. I know that, but... It looks like she went out of town to take care of her son's body. That's a little concerning. There's Zubu's roaming around out there. We should follow after her. animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now.
anymore. <laughs> Shion, could we talk a moment? Hey, do you have time to talk? There's something I need to ask you. Of course. What's up? It's about the doll I used to have as a little girl. I gave it some more thought, and I still don't remember actually receiving it from anyone. You were so little. I don't think it's that surprising you've forgotten, is it? Yeah, but here's the thing. That doll was so old, I'm starting to think I just always had it with me from the start. I know that it's extremely unlikely, but after last time we talked, it got me thinking. Maybe... Maybe you brought the doll that child made with you to Lenegas. I couldn't be. Are you saying you didn't? Uh. Look, logically speaking, I know it's a lot more likely that you didn't bring it with you than you did. But you can't say for sure you didn't, right? Crazier things have happened. I always thought I'd be alone. Only to end up meeting you, and Law, and Rinwell, and Kisara, and Dohalim. Sometimes things happen in life that we never thought possible. You make a good point. I left everyone and everything I knew behind 300 years ago. But now, I'm not so alone anymore. Exactly. You crossed all those centuries to find all of us, so... Why can't a little doll have made the same jump too? Right? Look, it's up to you to decide if there's any meaning behind all of this. But I choose to think there is. Yeah, I think so too. There's something beautiful about the whole thing that simply can't be denied. I'm looking forward to breakfast. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. I should probably think about tonight's menu.
I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. Rinwell. That little speech you gave back there was pretty impressive, Alfin. If you call letting your emotions get the better of you impressive, sure. It made them stop fighting with each other, right? However you managed it, you knocked some sense into Rinwell and Dohalim, and that mother. Yeah. I can see my decision to travel with you was well made. Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... Actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding. So we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to, it's the resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way. Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, Law. Uh, you're welcome? Finally! If only we could have flown with the wind again- 